An aesthetic body. An aesthetic body typically refers to a physique that is visually pleasing and well proportioned according to the cultural and personal standards of beauty. This often includes features like defined muscles, symmetry, low body fat and an overall pleasing appearance. And in this video you're watching right now, I'm going to show you how to build one. Before we start this video, I'm just going to let you guys know, you do not have to follow a strict day's routine such as one day leg, next day chest. I went to gym five days a week, training and design specific workouts which target every single muscle in your body. But if you prefer to focus ideally on your muscles, you can do the day-to-day -day routines such as leg workouts one day, chest workouts the next day. That's typically what a lot of people do anyway, but for me, I didn't like that. The abs. The abs are the most attractive part of the body, in my opinion. I focus on ab areas such as the obliques, external obliques, the rectus abdominis, you have to treat your core area as another muscle if you want abs. Build your core like you would build your chest and arms. Even adding higher weights to your ab workouts is necessary when getting a defined core. Without abs, your body would look ugly. Imagine having all the muscles developed and set for the core area. You just look fat. So please make sure you train your core. Lat pull downs. Lat pull downs is going to make you look more masculine. It is going to give you the V taper body. The lats are located around the back, just behind your oblique muscles. This muscle is very important to train if you want the complete masculine build. Not training this area will lead to your body looking very slim. For example, if you was to only train your lats, but not your chest, you would still have an aesthetic look from different angles because the V tape of your back, it would still look nice and defined. But of course, training every muscle in this video is key to achieving your aesthetic body. The chest. A strong chest is associated with physical strength, which can be seen as a desirable trait. Your chest is also what makes you look like a pro slash amateur when wearing a tight t-shirt. You want your chest to be broad and tough. Getting your chest bigger will make you feel a lot more confident, allowing you to perform better at the gym while training. Biceps and triceps. Biceps and triceps improve upper body strength. Developing these muscles can enhance your ability to perform wide range of exercises. Upper body exercises including bench press, push-ups and more. Some common exercises to target the biceps include bicep curls, hammer curls and chin-ups. While triceps focus exercises include tricep dips, tricep downs, push-ups and skull crushes. My triceps and biceps are decent. I only got them from the workouts I made. I never really focused on them specifically. They just came naturally. Neck and shoulders. A well-developed neck can enhance your overall appearance and create a more balanced and muscular physique. Look at this guy who works on his neck. Now look at this guy who doesn't work on his neck. Do you see how important working on your neck is? A strong neck can help you reduce the risk of neck injuries while performing at the gym. Neck training contributes to better posture by strengthening the muscles that support your head and neck reducing the likelihood of slouching. A strong neck can also improve your ability to perform exercises like overhead presses, deadlifts, and other compound movements enhancing your overall strength. Developing your neck can boost your self-confidence as it's a visible sign to your commitment at the gym. It shows that you're a serious guy. Well-developed shoulders contribute to a broader and V-shaped upper body. Remember I told you about the lat pulldowns? The shoulders is what maxes it out. Once you add the shoulders versus the lat pull downs, you're getting that V look. You're getting that aesthetic body, the nice body that you all you guys want. Don't just focus on one muscle, focus on all of these muscles I'm telling you. It's going to give you the best look you can physically get naturally. A lot of people said that I take steroids when I done my transformation. No, it was all natural. I built this natural in 90 days. That means you can build it as well. Just every day you need to commit. You need to do all of these muscles, train these muscles as much as you can, guys. If you really want it, you would get it. If you don't have it, that means you don't really want it. If you don't have it, that means you don't want all the girls. If you don't have it, that means you're losing. And yes, guys, once you get this aesthetic body, I'm talking to the guys here, even girls, you will attract more. You will attract more people to you. It is a very pleasing look. It is very attractive, guys. It is nice. It's when you see, when I look at myself in the mirror, I know I worked hard for this body. Just like every other muscle in this video, once you train them, you'll be able to start lifting and pushing a lot more higher weights, which is called progressive overload. Over time, you'll start upping the weights. 
at first you may not be able to do this like when you first go to the gym you might start a very small couple weeks later you're not on that level no more you're looking back like that was easy now you're doing bigger weights bigger reps more reps your body's bigger training guys also well-trained shoulders can improve your posture by helping to balance the muscles around your upper body reducing the risk of rounded shoulders and poor posture strengthening the muscles in your shoulders including the rotator cuff can help prevent injuries and discomfort associated with the shoulder joint i've seen a lot of guys train their shoulders and doing like presses bench press and um, dumbbell press and their shoulders are their shoulders are they're gone guys they can't lift no more because their shoulders are ruined they don't train their shoulders enough so they're in pain this is serious guys you gotta train everybody before you start pushing for other things you gotta go in to train your shoulders more effectively you need to incorporate exercises that target all of the three deltoid muscles the front deltoid side delts and rear delts these may include overhead presses front raises rear delt flies and shrugs it is important to use proper form and of course shoulder press shoulder press is something i always do even today i'm recording this now i did it today in the morning guys training the legs is both important for men and women Neglecting leg training can lead to unbalanced physique. When training your legs, it's important to focus on compound exercises like squats, deadlifts, lunges, and leg presses. They all target multiple leg muscles. A lot of workouts you may think you have to do, I did not do to get my body. I made specific workouts that target every single muscle and just carry on doing them. I just kept doing the workouts I designed, like home workouts and dumbbell workouts and they literally targeted the legs back and literally chest everything in just one workout so i was just repeating different ones each day and i managed to get my physique if you want to know these workouts i did i made an online course with 40 videos not just workouts nutrition as well cardio if you want to lose weight if you want to gain weight calorie surplus all the workouts i'm talking about how i built my physique in only 90 days i did this in 90 days imagine from this to this in 90 days i did it no natural as well natural i never did a uh, one day chest one day leg next day arms no i did every day i trained i done the same different workouts so one workout that day second day that workout as you guys can tell we're added up so there's no bullshit if you're interested please give it a look because i'll make sure you get the body you want guarantee it if you do not get the body you want and you sign up i'll give you your money back but you will get your abs you will get your aesthetic look but yeah guys this is how to get an aesthetic body and last but not least nutrition to maintain an aesthetic appearance you need to eat right you need to make sure you're not eating too much fat you need to make sure you're not eating too many carbs if you're very lean carbs is okay but what I like to do, I just love my protein, guys. So literally, whatever it is, if there's protein, if there's a lot of protein, is mine. I don't care what it is, anything. I, if it has large amounts of protein, I'm eating that. Why? Because it's building my muscles. It's building my ab muscles. It's building my triceps. It's building my chest. It's building my lats. It's building my legs. It's building my neck. <laughs> it's building everything. Trust me, guys, focus on protein. There's more to focus on, but for me, I love protein, two grams of protein per body weight. If you're 80 kg, 160 grams plus, you need to have that every day. Make sure you're eating over that if you want to build muscle, no lower. I don't know why guys say 0.5 grams per body weight, one gram per body weight, no. Let's bulk up guys, let's get ripped, let's get perfectly lean built.